In this video, I'm going to be talking about imperfect passive verbs. Imperfect passive verbs are verbs that are in the imperfect tense and the passive voice. To help you out with your verb endings, I want to give you this free Latin verbs reference guide. You can download it from the link in the description below and it will really help you with your Latin verb endings. It has all of the reference tables in there that you might need for, well, life, I suppose. Go and get it. It's completely free and it's just really easy to download and it'll be really good to have on hand for you. So active or passive verbs. Well, an active verb is a verb where the nominative is doing the verb. The boy was kicking the horse. A passive verb is where the nominative is having the verb done to it. So the person is still grammatically the nominative, but they're no longer doing the verb. For example, the boy was kicked by the horse. The boy is still the nominative, but his role in the sentence has changed. He is now being kicked. So imperfect passives are really easy to spot in Latin. They're formed from the present stem. They use the same passive endings as the present passive verbs, which you can find in my previous video, and they follow the pattern of the imperfect tense in the active. So I'm still expecting my ba from the sheep tense, the imperfect. So for example, we've got our endings, ba, baris, barter, barmer, barmini, banter. So all of those still have my ba and my passive endings. For example, if I take Porto, my classic example, Porta Bar, Porta Baris, Porta Barta, Porta Barma, Porta Bar Mini, Porta Banta. They all mean I was being carried, you were being carried, he, she, it was being carried, we were being carried, you were being carried, and they were being carried. Now again, like in the present passive, you do not need that being word. I just find it helps people to remember that it's a passive. So I was being carried, you can just say I was carried, you were carried. So I've still got the imperfect meaning, I've still got the was that I expect from an imperfect, but in this case I add the word being to remind myself that it's passive. Have a look at these words. Are they active or are they passive? I'm going to show you the answer in a minute, so if you want to do it on your own, pause the video here, write your answers down or whatever, otherwise I'm going to show you them now. These are my passive verbs. So vide bar has my bar ending, so I know it's got my ba, which is imperfect, and I have my r, which is my classic passive first person ending. I have vide baris, I have vide bar mini, which is my second plural passive ending, which is my favorite, it makes me giggle. Vide banter is my third person plural, vide bartor is my third person singular, and vide barma, my first person plural, we were being seen. Have a look at these examples. I've got the ending table at the bottom in the middle to have a little look at in case you're not sure who's doing which verb. And I've got all the vocabulary you need down the side in the green box. So you just have to focus on the grammar. If you want to have a go at these now, pause the video because I'm going to be going through the answers fairly sharpish. For number one, nos nautai ad imperatoris lauda barma. First thing you always do is you look at the verb. So lauda barma is at the end where it usually is in Latin, but not always. Lauda barma means we were being something. So I look at my vocab and I can see that it means praise. So we were being praised. I don't need the being if I don't want it. Nos at the beginning goes with that. So that's helpful. That means we. And I get some more information about us. We are nautai, we are sailors. So we sailors are being praised. And then I get a little bit more information, ad imperatoris, by the general. Number two, ducem necare ube bar. Always look at the verb first. So ube bar has my bar ending. So I'm going to look down my little list. Oh, that means I was being something. So ube bar, I was being ordered. Then I've got an infinitive as well. I've got necare. So I was being ordered to kill the ducem, the leader. I was being ordered to kill the leader. And again, I could just say, I was ordered to kill the leader. Number three, dominus ab uxore veneno occidebatur. Looking at my verb first, occidebatur goes with my he, she, it ending. He, she, it was being something. Looking at my vocab, murdered. Happy, an excellent Latin word. So he, or she was being murdered. I'm going to get some more information about the nominative now. I find my nominative. I go to dominus, which is the master. So the master, grammatical nominative, was being murdered. 
Then I get my ablative of agent, ab uxore. Now uxor means wife, ab uxore by the wife. I get another ablative. This one is an ablative of instrument, weneno. That tells me how he was killed, so with what. So the master was being murdered by his wife with poison. For number four, num vos ad duque punea bar mini. That's difficult to say. Num means surely not. You're expecting the answer, no, no, of course not. So surely something is not happening. In this case, we're going to go to my verb again. Pune bar mini. This is my you plural ending. So you were being punished. Now I've got my num and I've got to add that in. Num vos pune bar mini. Surely you were not being punished. Ad duque. Again, an ablative agent. Surely you were not being punished by the leader. Number five. Ab omnibus monibaris. Monibaris is my verb, so I'm going to go to that first. Baris is my you singular ending, and I'm going to look in my vocabulary and find that moneo means warn. So you were being warned, then my ablative of agent by everyone. You were being warned by everyone. And that's imperfect passives. They're really simple to spot because they've still got that BA, and then they just follow the present passive endings. If you're not sure about any of the endings, do go and grab that Latin Verbs Complete Reference Guide from the link in the description below. It will really help you and it's completely free. So do go and grab it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them for me below and I'll see you next time on Bam Bass Bat.